Gamers, Rectangular back, this time with another Marvel Legends news update. Well, my friend Bugnice10 and other guys in the ACBA community were lucky enough to visit the Hasbro event there at Toy Fair this Saturday, and I was able to get the official images from Hasbro. So I'm going to be showing a lot of those figures and hopefully towards the end I'll have the photos that uh, Boog took from the uh, showroom. But first I'm going to go over some non-6 inch figures. First off we have the 3 and 3 quarter inch Gamora in her spacesuit that was announced back when the, let's see, I think it was San Diego Comic Con year before last and we were just getting a shot of her from the waist up and um, yeah not too bad looking her hair is awful short um, but I'm kinda glad that they went with that instead of a long hair that might interfere with the articulation so um, it would be interesting to see actual in-hand photos of that figure and then moving on to a larger scale we have the 12 inch version of Peter Parker they did announce a handful of different characters in 12 inch scale including possibly I guess it was hinted at that we might be getting a 12 inch yellow jacket so that would be very cool to do uh, multi-scale display with with our Marvel Legends and uh, the 3 and 3 quarter inch so really looking forward to that if it actually happens so looks like the the old icon series is kinda of getting resurrected um, so I guess that's one benefit of uh, lower oil prices is they're able to give us um, bigger figures. For a second I was thinking this was the 6 inch version but you can see that he has uh, toe joints and doesn't have a, a an actual ab crunch so um, and he has like a, a waist uh, swivel and here we have the alternate head on the figure. So far looks pretty cool I guess this is the teenage version of Peter Parker so um, my guess is that they're just gonna scale down scale that head to uh, the six inch version that we're gonna be getting in the same line another three and three quarter inch figure they showed that some people will be interested in is Falcon from the movie and his drone sidekick there uh, I don't remember the name of it but they did say that there's going to be a Walmart exclusive 6 inch Falcon coming that's uh, unknown if it's going to be a 2 pack or if he's going to be just single carded but they also said that Winter Soldier uh, which I assume is going to be a movie figure as well will also be a Walmart exclusive so two Walmart exclusives to look forward to don't have any photos of those yet but I will let you guys know as soon as I get any before I get into the six inch Marvel Legends I wanted to show you some of the Star Wars stuff that was shown uh, previously this image was shown of Maz Kanata with uh, a couple of the other Force Awakens figures from the movie Finn and Ray, but uh, I think the pictures were pretty small and it was unclear if it was 6 inch or 3 and 3 quarter inch. Now we know it's going to be a 3 3 and quarter inch figure. Uh, doesn't mean we will not be getting a 6 inch Ma Maz or Maz um, down the road, but right now we're just getting a 3 and 3 quarter inch version, so um, we'll just have to wait and see uh, about 6 inch. Now on to uh, some of the 6 inch figures that were shown um, promo pictures of. They showed a very hard to make out uh, Darth Revan 
figure. Um, so, yeah, I apologize. This is a, a very small picture that they showed. Here we've got a better picture of Darth Revan from the showroom floor. And uh, so it looks like, yeah, we're going to have soft goods on him. And it looks very cool. It looks like they really uh, pulled it off as far as that figure goes. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see um, if that uh, all those cape pieces and everything are, are removable. They also showed a uh, Empire Strikes Back Snow Trooper. Um, so, you know, it's cool that we're still getting some of the original trilogy figures here and there. Uh, also, they showed Sabine, which was the fan vote winner, apparently. And, um, yeah, it's again, it's a very small photo, so it's hard to make out um, how good she's actually going to turn out to be. Here we have a 6-inch AT-AT pilot, I believe, uh, or Walker from uh, Empire Strikes Back. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. Not uh, not something that I'm really excited about, but uh, looks like they pulled it off. Here we have the Princess Leia, and looks like she is, I'm assuming this is a 6-inch figure. It's kind of hard to tell from the photo, but... Um, yeah, it looks like all soft goods. The head sculpt is pretty decent, but um, I'm not too sure I really like the the soft goods for that. I don't really... It's kind of hit or miss whether or not soft goods work on 6-inch scale, so... Uh, it looks a little bit bulky um, for her, so... Yeah, I'd like to see more pictures. So, let's move on to the Marvel Legends now. Starting off with the Captain America series of figures, we have the man himself, Nick Fury, looking very cool, very similar to the Nick Furies that we got in the past. Um, you know, this is going to be using the Bucky Cap mold. Looks like, I think that is a new harness. I don't I'm trying to look at my um, demo man yeah it's not the same on him so that looks to be like a, a new harness for Nick Fury there you know a lot of this is photoshopped and uh, so far that head looks very cool but we're just gonna have to wait and see what the actual in-hand photos are next uh, nuke again it's the same proto or uh, promo pictures that they showed um, back at Comic-Con so um, yeah still waiting on a actual in-hand photo of him next we have Red Guardian and nothing real special looking about him um, again just a basic Bucky Cap mold but um, think they are going with the larger boot than the original Bucky Cap mold, so um, I do like that. And next up we have a gimmick Marvel Legend figure. They haven't really done these before. It's supposed to have a um, shield throwing gimmick in his right arm, so I don't know any of my friends that are going to be interested in getting this, but uh, I guess it's cool if you have kids and you don't want them to mess around with um, your um, your regular Marvel Legends. That would be cool for them to play with. Next up we have Black Panther, and I'm very excited for this. I'm, normally movie figures do nothing for me, but uh, um, very anticipated to uh, to get this Black Panther. It looks very cool. And then we have the Captain America movie figure, which basically is the same one that we've got in the past. Uh, I think maybe just a little bit of tweaking on the, on the paint. Um, but nothing we haven't already seen. And then the Iron Man. Uh, again, not a whole lot of difference between him and the other movie 
figure Iron Man um, legends that we've got in the past. I think they tweaked the armor on the back of the hands, maybe, and uh, also they gave him those uh, blast effects, which uh, are pretty cool touch. Next, a lot of people are excited for a movie Scarlet Witch, and from everything I've seen, she looks very good. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not interested in getting her. I'm not a big fan of movie figures, but uh, I'm glad the fans are finally getting what they want. Here we have the Doctor Strange wave of figures and looks like the build a figure is going to be Dormammu or Dormammu. Now that I have a better picture of Dormammu we we'll have some alternate colored heads so looks like the figure uh, is a little bit slightly different color uh, he's more of a reddish purple and whereas the figure we got from San Diego Comic Con was a darker more blue purple so it is different colored and the heads are different colored as well that's pretty disappointing I would have liked to have seen a completely new character it really devalues that uh, that box set now what I am really excited for is Iron Fist very very cool he's gonna have alternate hands got the glowing fists and uh, come with some new uh, flame effect or glowing effects for his fists as well and I did see in the promo or I'm sorry uh, pictures from the floor that he will be able to you'll be able to swap out those forearms for um, arms uh, wrapped in bandages so very very cool really looking forward to this Iron Fist and like I anticipated he is going to be on the Spider-Man body mold so um, yeah I still think that's uh, probably the the smartest decision to go with uh, that mold because um, he's not uh, not as buffed out as um, like Bucky Cap so uh, I'm, I'm very cool with that and I'm looking forward to getting a classic Iron Fist. And then another fi figure from the Doctor Strange wave is Nico. So I'm not familiar with this character, um, but this promo picture looks pretty cool. The, you know, obviously they, they can make it look as nice as they want with, uh, with Photoshop, but, uh, uh, looks like they they reused the head off of Jubilee and gave her some different hair. Looks like it's an interesting figure. So if you've been keeping up with my news videos, you saw last year that I mentioned Amazon listed the Shocker figure as Hobgoblin. And I was getting conflicting information on whether or not we're actually going to be getting Shocker or Hobgoblin and it looks like my initial information was correct we are going to be getting a I guess classic Hobgoblin with some sculpted uh, like chainmail armor I guess on him so uh, that's very cool you know typically we just get painted um, we don't get new body molds we just get repaints so uh, if they actually go through the trouble of sculpting all that um, armor onto the figure, that's that's going to be quite a big improvement over what we've been getting. Next, we have Silk. So, a lot of people anxious to get their hands on her. Uh, I know the Spider-Verse has been very popular, and um, so far... The paint apps have been pretty good on most of the new Spider-Man figures, so hopefully they're able to get that uh, spider web on her chest painted well, and uh, fans will be pretty happy to get this one. Next we have Miles Morales Spider-Man, or Ultimate Spider-Man, and... They did not show an alternate head in this uh, promo picture, so it'll be interesting to see 
Um, I would imagine they're going to give us an unmasked head. Um, they just are not showing it here. Now that I'm getting more information, I'm confirming that we will be getting unmasked heads for the ultimate Miles Morales Spider-Man and the new Peter Parker Spider-Man, which are both on a new body mold for a male teenage body, similar to what we've been getting in the female teenage body on the Spider-Man figures. So, yeah, like, um, oh, I don't remember, was Spider-Gwen on that? Uh, I guess she was, uh, that teenage body mold. So we're getting the male equivalent now. And they, again, have not showed what the alternate heads are going to look like. But, um, but yeah, I think uh, everybody's pretty excited for these figures. And it'll be interesting to see what other figures we get on this um, smaller male body mold. I can't, nothing's popping into my head except for a classic Bucky. I don't know what, <laughs> what else we would get. Now on to the X-Men figures, which everybody's been foaming at the mouth for, uh, except for me. Now we have Cable, and I guess this is from the Ascension storyline, not familiar with that, or Cable, I, I do like Cable, but uh, don't know what version that is. I know a lot of people were looking for the version that had the um, baby Hope in the chest harness, so, um, yeah, I guess this is kind of a, uh, a little bit of a letdown for, for some, but um, looks like it's going to be a pretty decent figure. Again, that chin, he, he looks just like Drax. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, it's just a modified uh, Drax head. Drax, Captain America, so many of the figure Thor, so many figures have this that over-pronounced uh, chin, so... A little tired of that. Next up, we have Deadpool, and this figure, this picture is awful dark. It's really hard to make out much of Deadpool, but um, pretty close to the movie costume. Um, the movie was great, by the way. Definitely go check it out. Uh, hilarious movie. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of people are uh, pretty excited to get their hands on him. Um, from here, it looks like his pink, pinky finger is sticking out, so uh, I would have to believe that they're giving us some alternate hands uh, with Deadpool. So uh, um, from what I understand, we're supposed to be getting an uh, unmasked head with uh, Wade here, so I know a lot of people are going to be pretty excited for that. And then we have Havoc, and I guess this is the modern version of Havoc. So, um, yeah, I know a lot of people are uh, looking forward to this guy. Um, got some pretty cool uh, effects parts coming with him as well, so uh, that's nice to see. And then we have Iceman, and I guess this is the... Spike version of Iceman. I'm not uh, familiar with which storyline that is from. I think it's one of the more modern or recent uh, versions of Iceman in the comics. So, um, yeah, hopefully he's not going to have too many breakage issues um, since that uh, translucent plastic can be somewhat uh, troublesome. Next up we have Kitty Pride, and uh, looks like she comes with her little... Um, dragon character as well so um, that's an interesting belt I want to see how they actually pull that off um, if you can see here in the prototype um, I think you're gonna run into a lot of uh, warped pieces or hopefully not broken pieces if it's gonna be that um, very loose and uh, flimsy looking as it is but um, I know a lot of people are pretty excited to get her and then we have uh, Jean Grey Phoenix. This is the green and gold costume. I think this is, um, I guess you would say, classic or Jim Lee version. I'm not exactly sure. You guys uh, correct me in the comments. But um, yeah, I know that uh, 
a lot of us thought maybe we're going to get the white costume version that uh, never ended up getting released. But um, yeah, I think this is probably going to turn out pretty well. And then, of course, everybody's favorite is going to be Rogue, which we've seen uh, in the past. Um, wish we'd got a better picture here because it's still pretty dark, but, you know, we have seen prototype uh, of her on the showroom floor from last year, and uh, she looked very good. So, now one thing that we are seeing, uh, since we got a exclusive Daredevil figure from Walgreens last year, makes sense that a Walgreens figure for this year would be also be Daredevil related. So we're going to get Punisher in basically a Jim Lee version, and that will be the Walgreens exclusive for 2016. In addition to the uh, phasing Doctor Strange that they already announced, which they're not showing here at Toy Fair. But um, very cool. Um, not too sure. Hopefully he comes with an alternate head because he's kind of got a smile or smirk on his face here. Um, hopefully we'll get like a uh, an open mouth version since we already have the um, kind of uh, frowning Punisher that we got previously from uh, years past. So, um, but overall, very cool. I really like the the harness on him, and um, yeah, very very excited. Another pair of figures that they announced were going to be Target exclusive. I guess two pack. It's going to be War Machine and Iron Man Mark 27, which they're calling the Disco Armor. So we don't have pictures of those and don't know, not that familiar with uh, what the Mark 27 suit looks like. So um, if you guys know what that is, uh, please let me know. But um, yeah, so we're going to be getting a Walmart exclusive, Target exclusive, and a... Uh, Toys R Us exclusive three pack, which will be Vision, Kate Bishop, Hawkeye, and Sam Cap, Sam Captain America. So I know a lot of people are looking forward to that um, Sam Cap, but um, yeah, it would be interesting to see what uh, what Vision. I guess it's going to be a new comic book. Um, maybe more, more of a classic Vision since the one we got in the Doctor Strange wave was the modern version of, of Vision. So um, just going to have to wait and see. And yeah. All right. With that, hopefully you guys like the video. You share with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I always love hearing back from you guys. So please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Crispy.